uh, just give us a quick opening statement, then we'll uh, have questions, brief questions for the student athletes, and then uh, let them go home for the evening, and uh, we'll keep coach. Coach, just your thoughts about the game first. Um, you know, I thought we competed. I thought the first half we had control. Um, obviously got into some foul trouble, um, you know, early, which hurt us. We had to sit a few guys. Um, they made a little run back at us, and then the second half, uh, we got a little bit stagnant, but but I thought we still competed and, and fought. Um, you know, I mean, this is a team that went from tenth place in our conference um, to first. You know, and that's that's a pretty impressive thing to do. Um, you know, it's harder to maintain a successful program than it is for these guys to come where they came from. So, very proud of my team and their effort. Um, would love to get them a win, though. Thanks, Coach. And uh, if, if you have questions for the student athletes, if you raise your hand, we'll bring a mic to you very quickly. Jake, you guys had a pretty good first half lead on them. What kind of, I mean, what did you notice they were able to do to you guys at the beginning of the second half, and they just never really uh, relinquished it? Uh, we didn't really get out to a fast start in the second half, and that's kind of been a uh, uh, big problem of ours this year. And, and they just kind of ran with it, and we couldn't um, put out their fire. And uh, you know, we kind of got ahead of ourselves and stopped uh, thinking about defense and getting stops. And um, you know, they, they ran with it. Deshaun, was it? I mean, was Will McNeil just really hard to defend? I mean, t you know, in terms of keeping him off the line, or was it just was it pretty frustrating to play defense when they kept calling fouls on you? On me? Well, Not you, but you know, uh, your backcourt. Well, I just feel that when they call fouls, it, it kind of frustrates the team, and then the next play down, they kind of think about the play that just happened instead of guarding and helping out on defense. But I mean, he he got some calls that went his way. Would you say that affected the offense at the other end? Um, I would say we affected the offense. We we control everything that we do, and I feel that we were the only ones that affected ourselves. What do you think changed offensively? I mean, I noticed. I mean, you had a, a pretty good game scoring wise, but you know, it was a little bit slower toward the end. Um, I just feel that everything was like. Coach, did you notice uh, some of the team getting rattled, you know, similar to the Pitt State game or the Central Missouri game, you know, once things weren't going their way? No, I didn't, I didn't think so at all. I thought they stayed pretty positive. Um, you know, I thought we stayed defensively with our game plan for the most part. You know, I, I thought we did a good job on McNeil, you know. I mean, it's 5 for 15. You know, I mean, I understand that he went to the line a few times, but I thought we defended him well. Um, you know, I, I think our – we got it inside enough. I thought we missed some bunnies, you know, some shots that, you know, a few of our shooters just don't miss. You know, they just don't miss those shots. Um, and, you know, you miss shots, you lose the game. Was, I mean, defending McNeil such a huge emphasis that, you know, maybe some of the other players kind of were pushed to the back burner a little bit? No, no. Well, you know, when you get into foul trouble, you get real tentative defensively. And then when you get tentative defensively, you're not able to guard the way you wanted to guard. And, um, you know, I think that was the case, uh, you know, you know, just, and they hit shots, shoot, they were seven for 13. They're not a very good three-point shooting team, but they hit shots. Do we have any other questions for student athletes before we let them go? All right. Yes, uh, uh, <laughs> just for both of you guys, I mean, you guys came from 10th place and then you got a co-championship and then you made it all the way here. I mean, what can you guys take from, the, what can you take from this season? And Jake, what do you think you'll remember about this season? We can take a lot. We, we know the experience now. We've never been in this situation before, and I feel that now we'll have people coming back that's, that know how to get here and know what it takes. So now we're just going to go into the off season, looking forward to next year. Yeah, this, is, uh, this has by far been my finest year, my, my best year of my life. You know, basketball has been a big part of my life. Um, and I think these guys are, are going to do really well. <coughs> Do really well next year and the years after. You know they got a great coaching squad, got a great team, and got a taste for this. So <clears throat> they're gonna they're gonna do really well. Yeah, and I, I want to say to follow Jake and Kyle and Jake Peterson are probably three of the most unselfish kids that, that I've ever coached. Um, you know, especially Jake. Uh, in many ways, you know, just. He wanted more players. Came into me. 
should keep your scholarship money off. Oh, go get some, go get some players to make sure that we win. You know, I mean, just an unselfish kid. Uh, all those guys are, and uh, we're gonna miss them. So you tried to give him more money? <laughs> yeah, he didn't take it. That's the first guy that's ever said, "Keep it, keep it. Go get some players. I want to win." <laughs> so he's a special kid. He's he's gonna have a special career after this. I can tell you that much. Was it, coaches, this was a pretty uh, pretty frustrating some of the times that, I mean, I noticed you got pretty mad about the Bryston and Coleman. Was it pretty frustrating the way that they were just, it seems like how you said they were defending, you guys were defending McNeil pretty well, but, you know, they kept putting him on the line? Um, you know, I, I, I thought we did a good job. I thought we cut him off. I thought we beat him to spots. You know, I think with McNeil, um, the thing that you can't do is try to cut him off early because he'll get on your hip, or you'll get on his hip, and if you get on his hip, that's where you cause foul trouble. I thought we did a good job of, of getting him squared up and, and getting him in the chest, and you know, he made some tough shots and, and um, was able to get to the line. But I, I thought our guys did a great job defensively on him. Before we let them go to Weed, do you have any other final questions for the student athletes? And then we'll keep coach for just a minute. Oh, oh yeah, going back here. Sorry. Play them at your place, play them at Washburn, neutral side tonight. Do you guys feel that you left everything on the table, on the floor tonight? I think so. You know, Washburn's a, a good team. They've had a really big uh, uh, run this second half of the season. You know, they won the conference, and, and they're on a, uh, um, a high right now. And, and uh, they're a tough team. You know, wherever you play them, it doesn't matter. They're a um, um, tough team. So, uh you know, I, I would have liked to have that one back. Definitely, I, I'd like to play them again. Um, but uh, no, I, uh, I think we left it all out there, and um, these kids are going to prove it to them next year. Sean, any comments from you? I felt that uh, we came as a team. Like we were facing, as, we was facing adversity, and we came together, but we just couldn't overcome it. And I felt that everything was out there, man, with Jake and Hakey and Jake Peterson. They did so much for us, and I felt that everybody was out there playing their heart out for them. And I feel we're going to do it for them next year. Sean, Jake, thanks for joining us tonight. We're just going to keep Coach for but I'll have you guys rejoin your teammates, and uh, we'll just have Coach for another couple of questions. Before we let you. Congratulations on a great year. Thank you. Any final questions for Coach McCollum before we let him go, too? I'm just curious about your observation. Tough time to to answer maybe the the maturation of the program now as the third year's been completed. How, you know how happy are you at where the program now sits at this stage and how you continue to build on that? Well, I, I think we um, when we first came in we we established a good foundation. Went and got high school kids um, and. You know, we took our lumps, but I think we learned from those lumps, and you know, those seniors obviously had a big part in that. Um, but the kids that we had, we got such good kids that they maintained a positive attitude. Um, they stayed extremely loyal, which, you know, as you know today, um, not all kids, but most kids, you know, if it doesn't doesn't go their way, you see about ten kids, uh, you know, I guess I should say ten, but two, three kids a year transfer from every program in the country. You know, but these kids didn't. You know, they just they fought and fought and fought and stayed with me, and um, that's why they're going to be successful. So that's that's what our program is is hopefully um, founded on is that loyalty, um, getting high character kids for the most part, and then um, you know obviously we had a few transfers too that are good kids as well, sprinkling in some talent. We have a final question for coach before we let him uh, get back to with the team. Coach, congratulations on a great year in the Tri-Championship, too. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank Thanks you, for your time. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.